Hey guys, Renny here with Off Grid Trek. I just want to go over quickly our brand new solar charge controller for a 300 watt solar uh, bug out kit. I want to show you how you can change between two different battery chemistries using the app that we offer as well too. So first off, all you're going to do, doesn't matter the battery, but I'm just going to connect here to the lithium battery. It is fully charged, so we're not going to connect solar to this one. So you connect positive to positive, negative to negative. The solar charge controller is labeled. It does say battery, so I know that's being connected there. So there is a screen that's going to show you uh, the voltage and what have you, but we're going to focus on the app, which is Charge Pro 2.0. So here, I have just connected. It's now still seeing the old battery that was connected. So what I do is, as soon as I get in there, I go to the Bluetooth icon, which is the top right. I'm, it's going to find any Bluetooth device around, but I'm looking for PV Charge Pro. So let's connect to that guy right there. Okay, I've connected. It automatically sees this battery's at 100%. So now we're going to go to parameter settings. And you got to hit locked to unlock. And this is where you can change between all of the battery chemistry. So we're going to go lithium, because that's what that is. Depending on your voltage, you can go 12, 24, 36, or 48 volts. So you do that there. And then you confirm. Traditionally, it's going to be 12 volts for most. You go to real-time monitoring, monitoring, we're already at 100%, but it shows you that. So now let me disconnect, and I'm going to now connect to this EGM battery here, okay? So bear with me a second. So same thing, positive to positive, negative to negative for here. You want to detect the battery first. So what I'm going to do is open, close, because it's going to still think it's connected to the correct battery. So I'm going to disconnect. Hit connect again. Give it a second. I don't think it did. Okay, there we go. We're at 11.8 volts there, guys. So now I go to parameter settings again. I unlock. I go to the battery type. Let's select AGM. Confirm. And then we go to real-time settings there. So while that's doing that, I'm going to connect our 300-watt solar blanket. Because this one could take a charge. So let me just connect that so we actually get a little bit of power going in won't be a lot because we just had a huge amount of rain coming down and we still have heavy clouds above us but because of the efficiency rating of our solar blankets there we go we got 1.6 amps just under 19 watts going in which is really good for the cloud cover that we have and the time of day because we're at almost 3 p.m here and by the way guys when we film this right now we are september or october what is it 11th 11th and we're at 51 degrees north latitude so it's not like we have the sun directly above us this time of year. So that, that's it right there. That's how you connect these guys. So I'm going to have links to this in the description below if you want to order any of these. Um, I will be adding just the solar charge controller, this MPPT solar charge controller, right to the website on its own as well too. Other than that, any questions, reach out to me. My name is Rennie. I'm the owner of the company. Uh, I'd be happy to answer any questions for you. Um, and yeah, it's uh, if you're wanting a custom package, we do have stock. We have everything available in warehouses in the U.S. for our U.S. customers for their solar generators or, or power stations. And all of our solar blankets do ship from Canada. We have a lot available. I made sure to have that ready based on our current supply chain where it's at right now. Um, like I said, any questions, let me know. Other than that, everybody have a great rest of your day. We'll talk to you soon. Bye then.